All right, now that I'm all caffeined up, it is Tuesday, August 13th, uh, 8.43 a.m. About to dive on the phones here. Um, again, usually make 50, 100 calls a day, or try to, at least that's the goal I strive for. I have about two and a half hours to make those phone calls. I've got a super, super busy day full of appointments, appointment prep. Um, I gotta run some errands tonight. Uh, hopefully get some, hopefully get a haircut in. And then I gotta hit the gym as well. So, oh, and then I got photos on my new listing coming on the market. So it's just gonna be an absolutely crazy day. All right, so I just wrapped up making about two hours of phone calls. Uh, didn't get as many phone calls as I would have liked to in today, but uh, I've got an appointment here in about a half hour, a listing appointment I need to go on in about a half an hour. Um, and I also need to eat really quick. Look, thankfully the, the listing is not too far away. On my way to a listing appointment right now. Um, no, I'm not gonna film the listing appointment. Um, maybe someday after maybe I built up a brand or something or I'm known for that, I will. And I can have like a, a camera guy follow me around and go on, on, go on these appointments with me. But um, no, at this, at this time, I'm not gonna hold up my phone while I'm trying to uh, talk to this potential client. All right, just got done with my listing appointment. Uh, back home really quick, gonna eat some lunch, and then gonna head to the office to prep for my appointments throughout the week, uh, the rest of my appointments throughout the week. Um, yeah, it was good. It was a good, good appointment. Um, didn't I don't didn't sign contracts or anything, but um, you know it could lead up to that eventually. Um, you know, just providing as much value and information as I can now, and then hopefully, um, then you know when they are ready to make that decision, I'll be the person they go to. And Lunch. Wow, it's toasty. All right, so just got done um, with the appointment prep. So I prepped for two appointments that I have tomorrow. Um, so I usually prep the day before, uh, just so I can get ready to go. Uh, what that looks like is essentially, um, just going over market data just to see what their home looks like if it was on the market. Um, so they can have an idea of roughly how, what price range they should sell it for and how long it should take. And then I go through all the numbers and break down all the costs and whatnot, um, of working with myself and putting their home on the market as well as marketing information. So I prep for the appointments to prep for two appointments that I have tomorrow today. I've got one more appointment to go on here. Um, in like two hours. I gotta go home, quit talking to you. I gotta go home and uh, do what I said I was gonna do. I already forgot. Ugh. Well, I was gonna make some follow-up calls um, and I made a few, maybe about 20 minutes or so, but I'm all out. I don't have any more to make today. So now I've got like 30 minutes or so of blank time in the calendar not really sure what to do maybe i will watch one of my vlogs all right just got back from my listing appointment really really well sent out contracts so hopefully um get those signed get that listing up by the weekend good, good start to the week so far good start to the month um about to head to the gym but i thought i'd end the video here the past two and a half two and a half three years of my real estate career um in my business career I made a really big mistake and I, and I don't want this channel, this channel's not gonna be me giving you advice because I'm not in a position to give you advice. Um, you know, I, I, someday maybe when I'm successful or successful, whatever you wanna measure that, whether it's amounts of money or, you know, followers or whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter, but, um, but I'm not gonna be trying to act like I'm an expert in business or in entrepreneurship because I'm not. The past few years I've just, I think I've been caught up in playing business and not doing business. Also, I got caught up with the idea of being a CEO and I got caught up with the idea of like changing the world and doing all these great things, which yeah, those are awesome things to do when I'm ready, when I'm able to do that. I'm not ready to do that. I haven't done nearly enough deals. I haven't, I haven't been in the trenches long enough, clearly. Um, and it's really gotten me nowhere. So I've really just been focusing on doing the business, doing deals, putting myself out there in front of as many people as possible, calling as many people as possible, putting myself in the trenches and on the front lines, as they say, and just getting as much experience as possible. And I've seen, a I've, just, I've just dropped everything else. Everything else, long-term vision, long-term goals, long-term, all of that, I've put way on the back burner. And if there's any, if, 
any advice out of that? Just again, it's coming from my mistakes the past few years and where I've been at, where I'm at now currently. Um, you know, and, and I'm and I'm finally fixing that mistake that I've been making. So that's one thing you take away from this video. It's that. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to hit the gym.